Oh yeah. yeah. So I kind of had mixed feelings about it, and when it really, when I really started to think about it, it came out the same day The Rock was announced as on the board. Netflix has its own publication company. Rock has his own publication company. Rock can start getting his own movies right on Netflix. Mm-hmm. And that's that's what I started to think about. Netflix can start producing some stuff and get The Rock involved and get more eyes and attention because you know him being on the board really does doesn't do anything for WWE wise, you know, in the fans' perspective. Right, it's not. More people are not going to watch the WWE just because The Rock is on the board. Has won't have anything to do with it. It's not going to help. It's not going to do anything there. But I think it's on the business side of it where it's going to make more sense, and that they're going to end up doing some some movies with The Rock, um, ex- exclusively for Netflix. So like they already got you know Kevin Hart doing stuff. You know, The Rock's going to do his stuff now strictly for Netflix. And I think that's where they're banging. That's where Netflix is banging on people either jumping on the on the bandwagon to see some of his stuff and, you know, and getting more subscribers. Because when you really look at it, they're just between U.S. and Canada alone. I think there was just as many Netflix subscribers as they are getting uh homes that have U- the usa network you know in the u.s so you know they're not losing anything from that standpoint other than ad revenue so and then the other side of it is now you know can we get an edgier product out of it you know when we start seeing more blood out of them out of matches yeah that, you brought that off yeah like yeah will, will they stop censoring you know the, the holy mean, shit moments in the crowd and i mean maybe maybe not um they still yeah, want to mark the other thing i think that's really important is because they're you know there were three hours for ad revenue right mm-hmm. it was basically the network wanted that third hour for increased ad revenue Right. Yeah. So now, since they don't have that part of it anymore, will Raw drop back down to a two-hour show? You know, or will it just mm. not fit in the confines like NXT has kind of been? And you know, sometimes two hours, seven minutes, two hours, fifteen minutes. You know, just or doing like they do with the pay-per-views. Mm. You know, two hours and thirty-something minutes. You know. It, it's a lot of possibilities from that. And what about standpoint. the wrestlers? Like, how they fit, like how does that how's payroll fit into that as far as wrestlers concerned? Because they're no longer getting ad revenue. They're no longer like like their check is getting get smaller, no doubt. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, the I mean, this deal is it's a ten year deal worth five billion dollars. Well, actually, it's a, a, a like like um uh uh what you call it, a five year deal for option to um renew. Yeah. Five more years, so yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, I see no way that they don't renew this deal. Okay. Especially with it being announced a year in advance. You know, it, it took a while for people to get used to doing Peacock over the WWE Network. There was a little resistance in the, in the beginning. Um, All right, Russ, hold on. Your... Hold on, I got, my man Brand, I got my man Brand on the line. Okay. Yeah. This, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Now I got Russ here too for the Man Space podcast. He was this. He was he he was um pretty much like agreeing with what we were saying on Friday, and now he's talking about the Netflix deal. So um, yeah, you were saying Russ. Yeah. Um. When when it really comes down to it, it's it's all about the numbers for um how many people are going to stick with Netflix and and the WWE fans they're going to go wherever the show is, right? They. You know, when when it switched from USA years ago to TNN, yeah, there were some fo- some people that fell off because they didn't have TNN, but the the fans found ways to watch and could still consume the product. Yeah. So, oh gosh. And and you look at the way WWE does now, you know, uh, stuff is is put on social media so quickly. You know, you don't necessarily have to watch the show. They how they tout how many views they got on social media, you know, over something. 
Like the matches, as soon as a match ends, you can see highlights of the match on on Facebook or on, on TikTok and whatever. You know, so so they they're finding other ways to to increase the money. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I used to like get on their case. Like, why do they keep playing on social media? Does it make their money? And like, now fast forward, yep. it probably is making. Probably was and is making their money because you yep. get paid on social media nowadays. So yep. yeah. And at some point, I think that you're going to get to the point where guys are going to start having in their contracts about uh, social media views, right? Yeah. Like, you know, Punk, for example, getting what eight million views they're gonna have it he's gonna have it in his contract like hey i you know i get i got eight million views for you you know pay me yeah and you know so i think that's gonna start happening in some you know in the future yeah okay um brandon anything to say in response to that um not that's an excellent point especially about the compensation for um, social media views because as um Russ, is, is it right? Russ, yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, as Russ um, pointed out, yeah, like, um, it's a new age of consuming entertainment. Like, mm-hmm. just, we're out of the days of just, you know, looking at pure TV ratings mm-hmm. as a way to right. justify somebody's impact on the business. Like, yeah, Sam Punk, both in AEW and WWE, has been mm-hmm. a social media, like, megastar. Like everything that he does generates a ridiculous amount of viewership. So, yeah, uh, I'm not surprised. And in fact, they might quietly already be doing it, as far as we know. But yeah, I definitely see that happening. People adding those incentives in their contract. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, anything else, Russ? That's all I got for you, man. I got it. 